What's up, YouTube? We are back in the shop again today. We're actually taking a look at the U.S. General Series 3 roll cart. This is their five-drawer cart. Uh, I didn't buy it to be a tool cart, actually. I bought this to uh, be my welding cart. I'm going to modify it, kind of make it a welding cart for my Eastwood welder and the new uh, Vulcan Omni Pro 220 that I got. Uh, I'm not going to use it as intended. I'm actually going to leave this lid down, and I'm probably going to end up cutting some of the front out of this so you can still access this area with the welder setting on top here. They'll build me a little tray here for the bottles to stand on. Then we'll have drawers for different things. I do like the Series 3 has the full-length latches now. But as you can see, they don't work with the lid closed. So I think I'm going to go ahead and buzz them for little rivets off and remove them uh, locking rails and uh, yeah I also going to remove the lock because we won't need it and I'll probably end up popping this sticker off lay some tape across and figure out how I'm going to build my opening and it might get that cut out Okay, after I went ahead and removed all the rivets, there is uh, four rivets per pieces you can take off. You actually don't have to take these off, but I figured there was no sense of leaving these back here if I didn't need them. I can always rivet this stuff back on in the future if I want to, but uh, yeah, you can now have the lid closed. have the lid closed and open the drawers which is going to be awesome because we're going to cut the front of that out and this will be closed permanently so what so i'm going to do next is pull out the lock and probably work on getting this black u.s general logo off which may actually end up on my orange cart at work we'll see Well, it's not perfect, but I do go ahead and get everything kind of filed down and sanded. And my Snap-on Electric Orange actually fills up the pieces that I cut off pretty good. So I'm let that dry, and then I'm going to put a little bit of this edging on it, and uh, we'll be all ready to start uh, building a thing for the bottles. All right, there's what it looks like with the edge on. And it doesn't look too bad. I can still reach clear to the back. I went ahead and set the mat in there backwards just so them holes aren't open and stuff don't roll. I also knocked the uh, latch tab over. Unfortunately, I might touch that paint up a little bit too because it chipped off. But other than that, it uh, works pretty good. And obviously, this is going to set closed when I put the welders on it. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and probably get the Omni Pro out and get setting up here to see how it looks. So, we'll catch you guys back on in a second after that happens. All right, guys, well, that's what it looks like. Uh, I was going to use this for extra consumables and different uh, wires and stuff and rods and whatnot, but it actually works really good for the MIG uh, leads to go into. They are actually a big enough cavity that they're not uh, spooled up in a really tight uh, circle, so it shouldn't hurt the liners in here. I put my Eastwood uh, 175 up there. I don't think I'm going to leave it up here. I think I'm going to go put it away. Uh, but basically this is kind of what it looked like with the bottle right there. I'm gonna build that stand and then move the bottle over here. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put that bottle on this welder and then weld up the stand so I can just try this welder out, see how I like it. I don't have the ground lead hooked up yet. It's down here along with the 120 amp, uh, not 120 amp, 120 volt plug and the O2 regulator some flux core wire, uh, the stick, electrode, 
And then in here, we got some uh, 6013 eighth inch rod, just so I can try stick welding again. I've only welded stick like twice in my life, so we'll see how well that goes. But uh, then you come up in here, there's nothing in this drawer yet. And then this drawer right here, extra consumables. We got a lot of 30 tips, and I got some more 30 tips for uh, the Vulcan, the neural wheel and different stuff. So that, that'll be full of consumables in that drawer. This drawer has my welding gloves. They're just cheap tools uh, and cheap gloves. It's got my sledge, uh, slag hammer, my copper spoon, slag brush, and just the uh, welding tool. So, yeah. Like I said, I think I'm going to go ahead and take this one and go just put it away. Maybe keep this sand around too. Just put it on that stand and kind of put it somewhere out the way. Uh, I did have to put foam on the bottom of these so I could keep them from sliding. So that has foam underneath both these, just to keep them from sliding. Uh, I went ahead and put this edging along the bottom here to cover up them holes for the, uh, the handle that's right here. I don't have enough. I'm gonna buy some more and probably go all the way around the lid, at least all the way around from here, all the way around both sides. So yeah, I don't think it looks too bad. I did put the US General back on the uh, badge back on there because I'm not ashamed it's the US General part. So down there's my extension cord and my helmet so yeah i think i'll cut you guys back on another day when i it's not late and i'm not tired and we'll start uh, building our bottle rack for this thing so yeah catch you guys back on in a second well i welded with the omni pro 220 today for the first time i have to say i like that machine that is a good welder i really enjoyed using it i enjoyed using it so much I retired the Eastwood uh, MIG 175. That's a good welder too. It's dated, old, heavier than hell. <laughs> but I'm just gonna go ahead and retire that and just put that back somewhere in case I need it for something. Uh, I did go ahead and get the little thing welded up for the bottle holder. I'll go show you guys that in a minute. I'm putting a couple of coats of paint on it. But uh, yeah, it's made out of some angle iron. I welded it up with this and I was really impressed with the auto settings. I had to tweak it just a little bit. I'm no welder, but I would think for welding it on the floor, if I had a welding table, some clamps and stuff, I could practice it. This, this welder, you could do some good welds with this weld, with this welder. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at that bracket hanging in the other room. All right, there it is. Just some angle iron uh, welded up. Yeah, don't look at my welds, they're not great. Even though they did paint up and don't look horrible. But uh, yeah, for being the first time with that welder and everything, I say it welded pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and throw another coat on this, let it uh, finish drying overnight, and I'll go ahead, I got a piece of three quarter inch plywood, I believe, over there, a chunk, a small chunk, I'll go ahead and cut it out. Put it in here, and the bottles can just set on it, and I'll build some kind of thing on the carts hold the bottles so but yeah that's pretty much what it's going to look like and uh it's going to hold some bottles and should be a pretty good little welding cart uh like i said i want to get a plasma cutter and uh possibly i'm gonna get the uh, tig stuff for this one and i'm gonna try taking with it a little bit here and there obviously i can't take aluminum with this machine because it's on an ac dc uh tig a welder me time to put on my third final coat but uh yeah i just got to get that stuff with that dries bolt that back on it works good uh yeah this is holding the uh the mig torch and the uh ground cable that works great cutting that open that slot you don't have to have the wires hanging out in the way or nothing it just works out really good that way i mean i could actually probably bring my power cord over and do the same but i'm going to build me a little hanger for the power cord probably back here but uh, just hanging off the arm for there right now and I'm gonna piece of vinyl and put on this so I can put my magnets on the side they're actually right there and stuff because they're all, 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 all dirty with slag and whatnot I'm gonna put them on the side but I'm gonna put the piece of vinyl so the uh, all the little pieces of slag stuff doesn't scratch the uh, side of the cart so then I'm gonna get a top for it because I've already scratched it with that other welder but we uh, don't want to talk about that. We have a nice uh, cover, a nice piece of, uh, kind of like what I've got on this. 
here. I'm gonna get that for the top of it and for the top of my green workbench right here. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. I'll probably do an update video later on if I do anything else to it. So, but uh, right now I've got other stuff I need to do. So we'll catch you guys in the next one. I just figured I'd get a video up for this week of what I've been doing. I've been kind of doing with this welding, your this welding cart and house stuff and cleanup and organization here at the shop too. Like I got all these up on the wall and organized, all of my electrical stuff, self tapping screws, random self tapping screws, all my lugs, just pretty much all my stuff that I uh, had in there and freed up one more drawer in there. So I'll be able to get some blow mo cases and put in the side locker there. But yeah, so yeah. Anyways guys, we'll see you guys in the next uh, video and have a good rest of your day.